Hey everyone, Notorious here. I just want to address something. I just got a mind-blowing comment from a viewer who shared a link to one of the most prominent arborist channels on YouTube. Um, a guy called Rambarista. And it this video shows him tying a hitch that at first glance looks exactly like my calligraphy hitch. Before I continue, I just wanted to let you know that I've added Lupio Santiago's video, also known as the Rambarista, onto my description page for this video. It is in en Espanol, so check that out. If you look up here, this is the hitch that, and I'm tying this exactly how he tied it in his instructional video. And as you can see, this is my calligraphy hitch. The guy who posted this, I'm assuming, was trying to show me that, oh, well, this has already been done. Someone else has already made this hitch. Unfortunately, well, fortunately for me, um, that's not the case. My calligraphy hitch is still original. And as you can see, there is a clear difference. And I'm going to pull on this a little more. This is what both of these hitches look like when weighted. This one looks more like a catalyst hitch, and this is really, truly, I mean, this is my calligraphy hitch. It is, it is obviously different. That's all I'm trying to say. I'm just putting it out there prophylactically before anyone else addresses this that, no, his hitch is not the same as my hitch. Um, and I'll explain to you exactly why. I'll show you. So... If I, basically the only difference between his hitch and mine is, well, there are some subtle other differences, but I'm not going to get into that because no one's really going to care. But um, just know that this is not the only difference. There is actually one other difference between my hitch and his, um, and it has to do with how he orients the hitch cord and how he the number of wraps he uses. Um, but basically, this is fundamentally the difference. What I do is, instead of just creating this loop and then bringing the other leg through the bite and calling that a day, what I do beforehand is I introduce a twist. So I've got this twist, and then I make the bite, and then I bring the other leg through, and that's what gives it its signature look, okay? It allows for more separation between the primary coils and the secondary component here. And his, it's all very compact, and it's obvious that, you know, to be honest, this actually looks a lot like my another hitch that I invented. In fact, this is another hitch that I invented. I'm just looking at this now and discovering this live. This is the elevation hitch that I've created, I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to have to check that out and maybe make another video about it. But he may have beat me to the elevation hitch, in which case I will concede. Um, but... It may not be exactly the same how this is wrapped, but it looks very familiar. In other words, I don't really know for sure, but um, that was a little impulsive of me. But I don't know for sure, but it does look similar. Either way, his hitch does not have this twist. And the selling point of the twist is that it allows people who have a hitch cord like this one that's longer than they might need to add additional twists like that 
to reduce setback. Now look, you see when I do this, it's the same hitch, except I've reduced setback a little bit. Um, it may not seem that way because now the hitch is longer and the legs are shorter, but by doing that, because instead of having the extra length going linearly, it now takes a diverted path through this twist, and that in turn makes it shorter than the length it would be if I hadn't done that. Okay? Um, and also, it creates an interesting hitch. So, yeah, anyways, Rambarista's hitch does not have any component for reducing setback. And. It's just, I mean, it's just blatantly obvious that it's not the same hitch. At least it was to me. I can understand why this commenter thought they were the same hitch. All they really did was post a link. They didn't say anything, so I don't really know what their thoughts were, to be fair. But it's, it was insinuated that they believed that Rambarista's hitch was the same as my calligraphy hitch. So... Anyways, that's really all I wanted to do with this video. Um, just set the record straight, you know, ahead of time before any other people see this and start commenting and what have you. And so I'm going to check up on this. And if this is the same as my elevation hitch, then, well, I'm going to have to take appropriate action because I am doing this for fun. This is not something I'm profiting from. I am an honest person when it comes to my hitch designs. They have not been stolen. They have not been, you know, imaged from anyone else's hitches. I've basically taken what I know about the most popular hitches that are available or rather that are used by arborists currently and I've taken the maneuvers that create those hitches and I've used them to build hitches of my own. Um, so if I do find that someone else has created that hitch, I will... I don't know how to really approach that uh, because this is a tricky situation. Because to be fair, again, I mean, this is all, all about trying to be, all about trying to distribute fairness and um, in an honest manner. And I really believe that I do deserve some credit for coming up with that hitch design on my own. You know what I mean? It's like, hey. Okay, so it already exists, but, you know, don't I get, like, some kind of thing, like a gold star for having the ingenuity to do exactly what someone else did before me without knowing about it? I don't think I'll take the video down, but I will, in my description, make note that, okay, yes, Ramarista, or whoever in this case, anyone in this situation that I'm dealing with, came up with this before me and here's the link to that video. Um, you know, because I think that a lot of people love what I do, but most people don't. Most people couldn't care less about what I'm doing. And although I think that's really unfortunate for them, I don't think less of them and I don't think that that's a problem. Um, everyone is entitled to their own... Um, how would I say it, interests. I'm not going to penalize someone or think differently about someone for having different interests than I have. Um, I think that's inherently what makes people unique is their interests and, you know, among other things. But I would like to see that anyone who precedes me in creating a hitch that I've 
come up individually, you know, on my own without any influence, gets the credit they deserve without diminishing the effort and achievement that I have made. Am I making any sense? I don't know. I feel like I'm rambling. I do that a lot. But I just really feel like he he would deserve credit in that situation for sure. And I would make sure he gets credit. I want to potentiate the culture of hitch development. A lot of people see it more as like an art form than an actual necessity. And there's some truth to that because in reality, yeah, okay. I mean, I've had a couple hardcore old school arborists be like, oh man, all you need is the, is the taut line. That's all you need. Um, you can tie it with one hand. I wouldn't trust anything else. Yeah, okay. I mean, I've never been in a situation where I've needed to tie a hitch with one hand. Maybe someday I'll get there. But for now, I think I'll, um, I just, I just think it's cool. I mean, it's, yes, there is a lot of, um, truth to the art perspective. I do, I do personally view this as an art form. I think I'm expressing myself in a sense, and I think I'm also helping other people to express themselves because wouldn't you rather, the, the reality is my hitches are, well, not all of them, but at least half of them, and that might be an underestimate are just as effective as anything out there right now. If not more. Could be I'm I would comfortably say 50 to 75% of my hitches are just as good and maybe a small amount of them better than maybe two or three that I think are better than what are currently popularized today. Um and I hope I didn't just send the trolls after me. But, I mean, that's really, if you think about it, that's not an outlandish claim. Most of these hitches are going to be structurally very similar. For example, most of my hitches, or a good amount of them, that are made with an eye to eye, are tied beginning with three or four wraps. But let's just say four wraps for the sake of conversation. And like think about any hitch that you tie right now that is popular with an eye to eye. And ask yourself, gee, doesn't it start exactly the same? These four these four wraps. And then the rest is just kind of like just clever nodding and then maybe one wrap down here created by the knotting. And so you've got this, if really the only difference is this one wrap, or maybe sometimes in the case of my hitches, I've created two wraps in the knotting. Um, how different could they really perform? The, the reality is that I've tested a lot of hitches, and they don't perform that differently. And... I'm willing to bet that's not my, that's not just my opinion. Um, anyone who really thinks about this soundly is going to come to the same conclusion. So anyway, I don't really even know what I'm talking about anymore. That's just kind of how it happens. I just let it loose and then I just kind of fizzle off. I'm like an Alka-Seltzer tablet. Um, <clears throat> I'm even losing my voice. It's crazy. So, Yeah. I don't know even what I'm going to entitle this video, but I really hope a lot of people watch it because it's important. In fact, if you even take away the uh, original point of this video and just leave the rant, it's still very important for people to hear. I think it's been something that I've been dwelling on for a long time, and I don't think a lot of people have given it much thought. And I hope now I've given you an opportunity to do so. Anyways, please consider subscribing if you like my content. If you're already a subscriber, thanks so much. I really appreciate your support. Check out my channel for more hitch how-tos, not tutorials, 
and climbing videos. Bye.